Hey guys, I'm Kyoko. Welcome back to RimWorld. It's that time again when we start a new series and uh, here I am. This one we are calling uh, the Cult of Carico. Uh, so let's just get into the mods that I'm using and let's see what we have. So most of them are the same as they've been before. Plenty of them, but I added a couple more or re-added them that I've been using before. Like Industrialization, Money Helmet, Mass Graves because reasons. Quality Builder is something that uh, people have been saying I should be using a long time ago, but I never kind of did, so yeah, it's fine, we have it. Psychology is back, we have Animal Gear, Tree People are back, Crazy Cat Lady is a trait for people. <laughs> uh, don't know if you're gonna ever gonna get to use it, but hey. Rim HUD is something people were saying I should use, so hey, it's here. Genetic Rim. I've never actually played with this, but I've seen it in action and it's really fun. So we might actually do some combination of creatures and such. Uh, let's see, Crystal people are new. I've not played with them. We'll see how that goes. Raplimed for feeding people. Uh, and the main thing, new Ratkin Plus. So now we have this Ratkin anime looking colonist, which is kind of fun. <laughs> we'll see how that goes, but that was is gonna play into the story of this colony, which is something gonna go into a bit later on. So uh, we have Rotty Milden over here, which is apparently same as Randy Random, but it has way more frequent uh, smaller events, and uh, the larger ones are less frequent. So this is this one is gonna be more annoying rather than more dangerous compared to Randy, I'm guessing. So we're gonna play with this on Merciless. I've not tried it yet. I don't know how it's gonna go. It might, you know, just be terrible. We'll see. Uh, so let's go. Uh, let's make our seed uh, something, uh, you know, something similar. And let's, um, let's get into there, right? So the story of this thing, right? The story of this thing is we are a the cult of Carico. Uh, we are Ratkin, and Ratkins uh, celebrate the cult of Carico, their god, their rat god, that seems appropriate, isn't it? And uh, basically, the rat god will stand at the end. When everything dies, he will still be there, gnawing on the bones and eating them. And he will be the last rat standing, or god standing, let's say. So, uh, that's what it is, and all the rats uh, are worshipping Carico. But, but, this Ratkins we have over here are more on the extreme side. You know, religions have their extrem extremists and extremists and stuff like that. So these guys are more on the extreme side and they don't mind gnawing on flesh of men as well. So a bit of a darker side right there. Anyway, where shall we post up? That's a very good question. Grasslands, temperate forest. Grasslands, uh, savanna. Savanna sounds cool. Uh, let's go into savanna. Maybe a savanna with uh, a river. Last time we were in the mountains, so let's go into something less mountainously this time around. Mixed woodland grassland ecosystem. Oh, how is the grassland? Uh, the temperate forest. Where's the grassland? It's here. Grassland is named sketch area where the vegetation is dominated by grasses and shrubs. The soil is fertile, but there's little protection from the elements. Hmm. We could go in grassland. Uh, no, I kind of like the idea of savanna. Maybe on the hotter side, since we've been in like a constantly cold area in my last series, we can go into this area over here. Uh, let's get uh, something with a river. Limestone sandstone. Sandstone, slate, marble. Meh, doesn't really matter. Uh, sure. Disease frequency one per year. Amazing. This seems uh, this seems okay. Let's go a bit bigger. Just a bit bigger. Not too much. And I did prepare this on the careful side. So as is tradition, we have our first three starting uh, colonists from uh, from Patreon supporters. So. Hey, hey you guys, welcome. These three guys are the top Patreon supporters, thank you boys for that. And uh, as always, if you want to be named in the series, all you have to do is leave a comment down below with your name and I will put you on the list. Of course, as always, the Patreon supporters do have priority. And this time around, since I know some of you Patreon supporters are not here for RimWorld but are for other games, so if you're a Patreon supporter and you would like to be in the game, still say it please. So uh, I 
will put you in there. If you don't say it, well, just, you know, I will think that you don't want to be in this series, right? Right. Okay, but these three guys, for now, are going to be there. And uh, probably a couple more. Anyway, we have Nuke, who is beautiful and chatty cannibal. Yeah. <laughs> we have Infinity, who is gay and kind cannibal. And then we have Hashem, who is open-minded, socialite cannibal. <laughs> They're all ratkin. Because, why not? They have fabulous hair. And they have... Um, well, all of them are wearing, let's see, human leather gear. Yeah, everything is human leather. They're expl uh, wearing explorer wear because they're exploring this place. They have bone armor made of, uh, well, you can imagine what. Basically, everything is human leather on them. There you go. Human leather, human leather, human leather. And they're all the same. Cool. Uh, for equipment, we have a couple of these Ratkin weapons. I have no idea what they do or how good they are, but we have them. We might have a 69 human meat. No idea where they got that from. It's there though. And uh, we have a female chicken rabbit and a male chicken rabbit. Those are the combinations from the uh, genetics mod or whatever it's called. And yeah, these guys are chicken rabbits. Combination between chickens and rabbits. Amazing. All right. Um, yeah, I'm fine with us. Let us uh, let us begin. It's been I've been talking for six minutes. Let's actually go in and play this game, shall we? Uh, I have a feeling this could be this could be fun. <laughs> um, if you have a crazy cultists who are cannibals and uh, they don't mind eating the meat. Now the question is, the new people that join, how will they convert them to their cult? Because they might get other people, not just Ratkin, they might get tree people, they might get uh, just skellies, they might get, I don't know, other things. Anyway, we are in a savanna. Savannah, savanna. look, there's a, there's a bed over here. That's cool. And a lamp. That's, that's also cool. What is this wall? Steel wall, huh? I know which wall this is. There's a bunch of bones as well. Uh, some asphalt. Alright, I like asphalt. It's pretty cool. Ooh, look at that. There's a bigger bed over here. Nice in a wall light. Some gazelles. We even have a water treatment thing over here. And a boiler and a water well. In a place where there's no water. Perfect. This is probably uh, the ancient danger. A research bench, some awful tables, and by tables I mean beds. Dude, that's dope. It's pretty dope. Where are we gonna live though? Uh, probably in the middle of the map. In the middle of the map. Na 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 na. na. There's a steam geyser over there that we can use. There's one over here. Yeah, there's there's plenty. All right. So, who gets what? There's a Ratkin rifle. Let's actually unpause for a second. Uh, that's a flechette. You can equip that. Infinity, you can have... Uh, who's better? You can have that rifle. Infinity, you can have that rifle. Okay, let's unforbid everything. We have Xanthus and we have a soldier. <laughs> Perfect. Chicken rabbits. Kraken rabbits. Amazing. So where do we post up? Probably somewhere close to the river. Chill out. There's not that many resources in this map, is there? No. Indeed, there's not that many resources in this map. It's not exactly the greatest. Over here we can have quarries. So there's at least that. We can have big quarry area over there. Eventually. Whenever we need it. All right, uh, there's going to be a lot of work to be done before we even begin. So let's uh, get all of that going. You are my main doctor. Good. Uh, don't need any vat maintenance yet. That's fine. Hashem is the main doctor. Got to remember that. Holding plus is going to be important for you guys. Basic is always important. So you're going to you're gonna be main grower. Actually, let's do it this way. Main constructor, you're also good at crafting, you're also good at crafting. Generating power, oh right, there's uh, let's see where that's gonna be under. 
this is the only power we have are you sure you have no power capabilities oh you know what uh, it might be the ratkins are um, crappier than I thought <laughs> uh, I think that might be it yeah uh, that's okay that's okay we have no power so we're gonna have to research yeah we have to research electricity definitely gonna start with that one <laughs> gonna need to bring in uh, this bad boy all right all right all right well that's uh, that's not the greatest thing ever but uh, we'll, we'll live with it right now we're gonna be fine so where are we gonna post up let's post up maybe over here yeah uh, we have some stuff right I was working on the, this thing before we do that let's actually just grab them grab the steel that we have and just build us a room yeah over here it's gonna be uh, first room of them all first room to rule them all and in the shadows bind them something like that go build me build me a river cry me a river something like that there you go do that uh, let's have a stockpile zone in here and let's have a couple of beds one two three quality can be anything we want Let's put, actually, let's put the animal sleeping spots here. And then someone is going to go claim that and reinstall this bad boy down here. All right. Let's start. You guys can start working on that. And I'm going to tell you what else to do. So we're going to need some wardens. Well, he's really good at this stuff. Hmm. Uh, sure, you can still be the main guy there. You you grow, you plant, cut. Everybody can quarry and mine. You're the main constructor. Everybody can help with construction. Hunting. You're going to be the main cook. Uh, after that, I think you're going to research. And then you can craft. You're solid at crafting as well. I guess you can do hauling next. Alright, well, we have some human meat. going to spoil in no time. Perfect. What you get is what you what you doing? Holding steel to steel wall. That's the steel you got me for? I mean who am I to judge you? Right? Right, okay, so this is what we've got. This is what we got. Alright, let's uh let's begin. I do want to have some recreation, yes. So get a horseshoe pin outside here. Yeah. And since this over here is fertile, how about we just start with a growing zone over here. Quick growing zone. Just drop in some rice. Let's start with that. Hashem is starting with that. Good thing. We have uh, oh, an excellent bed, actually. I mean, we could have brought in the beds, but it, it's fine. It's it's okay. There's another thing we're going to need. Uh, let's just get a, a table. Let's get a table here. And just two stools. Good. Someone is holding Infinity is playing with that. I have a feeling they're going to be very, very unhappy with this whole thing. So we don't want automatic home zoning. But uh, for now, this this can stay home zone, of course. We got some cactus fruit. Hmm. That sounds delicious. It does sound delicious. And nutritious. Uh, let's have you claim that, please. And I do want you guys to build me a roof. Here. Alright. Thank you. Nook, you can be a bit less lazy. That's that's fine. That's fine. Let's restrict you thusly. Infinity is going to repair that. And that's our first room. Now we do have some trees around. So it's not as bad. We can maybe do some floors quickly in here. Okay, you need concrete and such for this. Different concrete, actually. Interesting. Uh, so there are some bones down here, right? How many bones? Uh, we have 284 bones. How much of this concrete do we have? 97. That could actually be enough for this. Uh, we actually don't have that research, do we? Yeah, we, we can't use the concrete. Never mind. 
Uh, let's do... Do we have enough for this? Yes, we do. Let's do quickly a uh, bone floor. <laughs> that should do. That should work. Actually, mm, before we do that, let me check something. Can I do... Yeah, I can do these bones, actually. These bone floors. Bone plywood. We can do that one, rather. Don't do me like that, game. There you go. Do this. Bring that up there. Do it. Yeah, chop anything you need to. Wow, it's so dark here, man. It's it's very dark. Please, um, how about we draw down a torch? I would appreciate that. Xanthus is going to sleep. Hashem, what you doing? Uh, hauling steel. All right. The only thing that annoys me a bit with uh, this hut over here is it's kind of small. <laughs> But, of course, it kind of has to be small if uh, you are to fit everything over here. Yeah. Do they have self then? No. No, no, no. So, they're all sleeping. They're all asleep. What kind of animals do we have? That's not what I meant. I meant what kind of uh, wildlife there is. There you are. There's actually a lot. Nothing that's really gonna hunt us, which is great, besides these two cougars. Well, cougars might hunt rats, and that would be unfortunate. May I ask one of you bastards? Nuke. You take that. Ah. Please bring this over here. No, no, not the bone. Ah. Uh, okay, I guess, you know what? Go research out there, it's fine. That's fine. Oh, brought us some berries. Sweet. I need to build a uh, something. I'm guessing this uh, human meat is just gonna go bad on us. And you know what? That's okay. It's not okay, but it's acceptable. Destroy that. We have some uh, heal root over here. Dude, get that. Yeah. <clears throat> heal root and berries and all those things. I'm not gonna try to uh, claim any of these. We will need them later on. Actually, do these guys need toilets? Um, actually, I think I need to go check that in the mod settings for bad hygiene. Mm. Pet bladders, no. Hidden under floors, yes. Hmm. Non-human colonists, yes. Yes. There you go. So, these guys will now need to pee. I believe. What is... Oh, it's a chicken rabbit egg. Let's go. So they will now need to pee and they will now need to wash themselves, I believe. Needs bladder hygiene. Okay, that's all I needed. Uh, I think this thing got cancelled, which is obnoxious, but that's that's fine. Nuke, my boy, how about you bring this down here? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. There you go. We get, we can plant any of this stuff over here. Uh, let's actually well having this thing is not really gonna do anything for us because we don't have power to fuel it which is a bit of a problem as you might have imagined it's probably also a terrible place to sleep for my people are we missing some bones we might be so for now let's see what we're gonna have let's build a toilet over here it's probably a bad idea, <laughs> but let's do it. Small toilet. Ooh, do toilet. Ooh, ooh. I'm, I'm joking. You know that, right? I just, yeah, making fun of myself and, yeah. Uh, we're gonna need someone to clean this up. So you grow. After that, you haul. I think uh, you're gonna clean first. Yeah, let's have you do that. Hygiene. Just drop down a latrine thing over here. And... 
We could do water tub. It's, this never works well for me, to be honest. But hey, we can do it. We can try it. And let's have this bad boy over here. So someone will go and bring water that way. Yeah? Wood. Let's have you chop down. Let's get that going. Soldier and Xanthus are sleeping. Where are you guys going? Hashem, what are you doing up here? Um, excuse me. Thank you. Don't need none of that. You go rest. Uh, before you go rest, tell me. Is this ancient danger? Yes. Alrighty then. That's um, good to know, I guess. Ancient D. That's that's a D. Don't don't talk to me. <laughs> uh, there you go. There goes our human meat. Need meal source. Need defenses. Yes, all of that and more. We have 69 rotted mush. Right. The stockpile does not allow rotted mush. Let's have a dumping stockpile down here. That will allow out of mush. Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Alright, it's been three months since I played the start of RimWorld. <laughs> since our last season went so far. So, bear with me as I try to remember what the hell do I have to even build these days. Might be a bit tough. Uh, anyway, a fridge to um, keep all our food somewhere. Might be um, not so terrible of an idea. So let's get a fridge going. Shall we? Is this gonna be a fridge? Let's say so. Let us say so. This could be a fridge. Let's reinstall you down here. Build me that door. Yes, that's not really gonna be good on the refrigeration side, but it's gonna be there. So, whatever. Did you put on rainbow petals in here? What the hell did you get rainbow petals from? Oh, right, we don't have uh, <laughs> temperature, so passive coolers also don't really help. <sighs> these guys are making love at least, and we're getting uh, a lot of these eggsies actually. Damn. So, let's have you stockpile zone. No rotten mush, thank you. Uh, you're gonna be preferred, let's say, and let's go clear all. Uh, game, please. Clear all and have foods in here, yeah? Rotted mush is not food. Okay, good. Just, just, uh, don't put fertilized stuff in here. Yeah? Uh, that's... What's that under? Raw food? Animal products? Fertilized eggs? Not in here. Thank you. You can put uh, fertilized eggs over here though. So Nuke is researching electricity. Which is definitely something we need. Right from the start. We have the packets around meals, but that's not really gonna last us too long. So, how about we build some kind of a uh, kitchen? Hmm? How about that? Let's, uh, let's do it. Let's do it. That is a weird kitchen, you'll say? Well, you're not wrong. You are not wrong. That is indeed a weird kitchen. We're gonna have... Let's have a butcher's table in here. Yeah, let's drop that there. Should have enough. Where the hell did we get uranium? Where the gal? Where the hell? And we have some metal grid over here. Amazing. So, stuff that doesn't get spoiled like steel, we could have stuff out there. And we do have apparently some water in here. Oh, that's great. Good. I realize we do need a. We need, we do need a uh, food source, yes, but, oh, mania, so, uh, faction is gonna be just the cult of Kariko, 
and this uh, the settlement shall be Kiriko's blessing. Yeah, let's go. Perfect. Perfect, I say. Perfect. Now, do we have any more bones down here? There is 134 bones left. I like that. I actually do like that. Because this thing, we can make it of bones, can't we? Yeah. Let's do that. Perfect. So that's going to be the kitchen. Right now, I think... Uh, since we don't have power... Actually, do we have... Um, Smitty, Redkin, Hand Tailor Bench. It's kind of cool. Kind of cool. But not exactly what we need. Fueled Stove is what we could do. Um, do we do that? Yeah, sure. Let's do a Fueled Stove over here. And then we can, uh, I guess, replace it later on. Eh. How about we rather... Uh, where's the where's the temperature? There it is. How about we rather do that and just use this to cook meals for now? Yeah, this is that. We can cook some meals if we have some food. Also, plant scraps do not belong in here. Get those things away. Really? Where where are you? Plant scraps? No. I says no. Thank you. Oh, Hashem is cleaning themselves. Perfect, perfect. I like that. I like that very much. Information, good stuff. Need defense, need me meal source. Yes, I'm aware of that. For defenses, um, put your creature. Do for a, what is this? Mince organs. Mince human organs to obtain edible meat. Makes great prison meals. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Mince limbs. Ingredients one natural. Means human limbs to obtain edible meat. Watch out for toenails. Dude, that is awful, but I love it. Yeah. Mince organs do forever. Mince limbs do forever. Actually, do you want to do that? Maybe. Raw compost, all that stuff. We gotta get some rice in soon ish. So that's gonna be great. We have a Gavi over here. That the Gavi is different color than what I'm used to. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. So over here we're gonna cook uh, meals. Now the question is, do we want to do it yet? Let's have uh, do until we have like six. Yeah. Sure. Make me until we have six meals. That's our kitchen for now. Small place, yes, but we need to research electricity before we do anything else. Are you doing that? You are cooking first. After that, you will do it. There you go. We are very slow at this research, aren't we? Well, uh, might as well build that file cabin and then. At least that's gonna speed things up a bit. <laughs> We do want electricity, so we don't uh, have to live in the freaking stone ages anymore. And uh, as for the defenses, let's get some defenses, shall we? Uh, let's get... Can they jump the wooden fence? I mean the bone fence, we don't have enough bones. Some berries over here, that one's ready to harvest. So is this one. Uh, we have steel, but we do not have much wood. I'm sorry, guys. I do not have much wood. Oh, right. Bees uh, no longer there. Oh, there's actually a bunch of stuff we can chop down. Did I click on the right thing? Surprisingly, a lot of things we can chop down. Sure, do it. We need it. I want to I wanna make a fence around. We're going we're gonna to fence us, ourselves in a bit. So let's do something like that. I don't know if you can shoot over this fence. I have no idea, to be honest. I guess uh, we'll see soon. There you go. It's going to be our fence community. 
And um, let's do something like this. I have no idea if this is going to work, to be honest. It's just something we might do. Because, uh, yeah, why not? Let's get... Um, where's my security? You can get... Uh, these bad boys. You can drop them in. Let's uh, actually... Let's cancel that one. Put a gate there. Fences, fence gate. Right there. Yeah? Psychic suit! Well, don't mind if I do. Do... This. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, female gender. Uh, all of our guys are females, so that's perfect. We got some rice. We're getting some new meals. Good, good, good. Nuke, go back to research. Do you see they have little tails? It's kind of fun. Got some cargo pouts. That's boiled shellfish. Bring it in. That's nom noms. And it's close as well, so that's perfect. You know what? Let's do this. It's appropriate, isn't it? <laughs> Wooden fence. I don't think that ever actually helped anybody survive. Uh, so yeah, it's probably not the safest of the things, but I'm sure at some point we can research uh, better fences than that. That's what we're gonna do. Oh, now the guy is ready to harvest. So is this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to harvest all the agave around here. To get some extra food. I mean, human meat is all good, but agave though. So we have six meals. Uh, let's allow human meat in here. Android, arachne, bear man, camel man, elephant man, elk man, fox man. You know what? How about we do that way? That probably allow insect meat as well, which is not something people are gonna like. Dude, we have a, a vent over here that we could claim. Bring out here. Have it be useful. It's 18 degrees out there. That seems appropriate. Wood is being chopped, so that's great. There you go. Infinity is gonna build these uh, sturdy gates, wooden fences. They have 98 HP. It's amazing. <laughs> Uh, so let me check something. Infinity, come over here. Can you shoot? Hmm. You can shoot it. Let's try this again. Come here. Can you shoot it well from here? Okay, so you can shoot across the fence. Okay, that's not really very useful. But if they are going to be melee people trying to get to us, they're going to have to go through this. So that's that's perfect. Now sandbags are not really going to be helpful because we can't make them, but we can make some of these shield things. Yeah, I never use these things, and you might wonder why, but I never do. So let's do a shielded area over here, that where we can hide if uh, need be. I think that's that's good. No, 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 no. You don't need to do that, my friend. No, no, no need. Thank you, Infinity. That's perfect. Yeah. You go build us over here. They ate the shellfish meat, didn't they? Yeah, it's such a selfish meat. It's fine. And it wasn't shellfish meat, actually, it was a combination. So they're using the doors as well. No, 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 no. No need. No need. Thank you. That's better. Mad Gazelle. Alright, well, time to uh, check how things work. Where is Hashem? Is in here. Infinity is in here. Okay. So they're all in here. Hashem, do not go out. Come back here. Oh, you got it. You definitely got it. Let's have someone go finish it off or hunt it or something. Hashem? 
Can you finish up this gazelle for me? And let's go here and let's um, go corpses and let's say animal corpses. There you go. Yeah. Bring bring her in. So what is this the shield like? That's uh I'm hoping shieldy. I'm hoping it's shieldy. <laughs> That's where we're gonna squat up if needed. Just uh, stay in here while anything comes at us or uh, something, right? That seems appropriate to me. That seems very appropriate. We're gonna have plenty of wood, so we can fuel that, cook that, um, maybe even some use some food, food, wood for flooring. Let's get me uh, just wooden these bad boys over here in the kitchen. There you go, Nook is butchering. I don't know how long this uh, meat is gonna stay, but we got bones, which is uh, an important resource for us. Very important resource, to be honest. So let's keep that one going. Mm, something... Uh, automatically rebuilt and destroy structure in the home area. Yes, we got Blight. Which is far from perfect, uh, to say the least. Let's go... Uh, cut uh, all the blighted plants, please. Thank you. Let's go make this a home zone. Like that. There you go. It's a small community. I like it. Can it stay the test of time? Well, we're gonna have to do a lot more if it's to stay the test of time. That's for damn sure. Can you please go cut the blighted plants? Really would appreciate that. Uh, Hashem is doing it. Actually getting some rice out of it. So that's perfect. That is indeed perfect. What's happening over here? We have rich soil blueprint. No. No, that's no, no need for that. We understand that the soil is going out, but that's fine. That's fine. Wow, these guys are getting blighted pretty fast. Get it all going, man. Get it all cut. Thank you, that's all of them, right? Perfect. Well, now that since we did get this thing, let's uh, get this thing going. This is where we had it, right? Cancel those. And uh, do it this way. Thank you. Go do it. Perfection. Perfection. Mm, we do have some marble blocks, actually. Where did we get them? It's a good question. A cougar is hunting hunting Xanthus. Ugh. Um, you little guys. Mm. Area one. Just be in here. Just uh, be in here. Thank you. You guys. Rush it. Nice headshot. Nice headshot. Show it. Oh, it hunted the rat. It killed the rat or the squirrel. Well, we got both of you. Thank you. Good. All right. Yeah, you animals being here. You can eat the rice, but that's about it. You can eat. Oh, you can eat the scraps. Correct. Uh, so we don't want the plant scraps to be out here. Uh, well, they can be in there. That's fine. I'm sure, they're gonna spoil soon, but you know what? That's not a problem. They can eat that. I think they can eat rotten mush as well, if I remember correctly. So that's good. You know what? Also feels good. Not having uh, a million lag in this game, because uh, it's not seven or eight years or how long we've been into that other series. So that works, that works well for us. <sighs> Cougars. Finty, get back inside. We have a cougar that's hunting soldier for food. Nice shot, son. That was a good shot. Go finish it off. No, I need to shoot it. Oh, it's the auto crossbow. Shot in the brain. Damn. 
Shot right in the head. That's impressive. Put this guy in. You're gonna have some cougar skin. So you guys don't need to wear human skin letter all the time. That would be amazing. So, uh... I think uh, I can safely do... Uh, where's my production? Uh, Stone gutter stable out of bone. We should have enough bone soon. That shouldn't really be a problem. Let's uh, drop this bad boy over here. Also, stop it. Don't cut this stuff. There you go. All right. Oh, Jesus. We are like 40 minutes into this episode. Well, <laughs> for now, thank you everybody for watching. Of course, this is the first part of the series. If you could share it with your friends, that would be great. Also, again, if you want to be in, just leave a comment down below and we can get that sorted. Eventually, everybody's going to get in, you know, unless we die really early on. But let's hope that's not going to be the case, right? All right. So if you want to see more from me, just click that notification bell down below. Uh, that really helps a lot, even though I guess it probably doesn't because YouTube sucks. But hey, it's fine. It's all good. It's uh, just the way it is. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, first episode and I'll see you next time. Go crowd.